black gay organizations uh, had said to her that uh, they would be quite happy, is this right, Kenya, uh, yes. with an apology from people like Elephant Man and Vibes Cartel? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we've had lots of emails and letters saying this actual fact. I mean, even the mayor's office have said this to us. So, but when we, you know, I don't know, that's not obviously enough for Mr. Tatchell. Well, because we want, we want to be a part of the solution. We want, we're want we trying to review the situation responsibly with other organisations. So all right. Well, let's see, if we're, Peter, won't uh, an apology do? I mean, surely, uh, you know, what, what can somebody do to uh, uh, atone for their past sins in your eyes? Well, an apology would be a first step, but it wouldn't be sufficient because the songs, the lyrics, the CDs, they're all still in circulation. And these singers are still making money out of their incitements to kill gay people. So, so long as the lyrics are in circulation, then, I'm sorry, an apology isn't good enough. And it can't just be a written apology. It can't just be an apology by the record company. The singer themselves has to call a press conference or release a video statement to the media making the apology themselves from their own mouth. And this is the agreed minimum term for a settlement of not just of outrage, but of JFLAG, the Jamaican Gay Rights Movement, and also the Black Gay Men's Advisory. They have not agreed to settle for a mere apology. I've spoken to their chair over the weekend, Dennis Carney, and he said a mere apology is not good enough. These singers cannot put out their murderous incitements and simply apologize while their lyrics are still in circulation and while they're still profiting from these killing lyrics. Can you? Well, actually, we've had a number of talks with the organizations that you're talking about. And obviously, it's whether a mere apology is that enough. I mean, obviously, when Beanie Man's apology came in, it was told his apology wasn't sincere enough. But, I mean, it's, you know, obviously, it's very difficult to question whether his apology is sincere. Of course, I understand with what you're saying about having their previous tracks still in distribution or still being released. Of course, that's a problem. And we would, we would say to the distributors or the record companies that they shouldn't you know, they should stop or halt some of those tracks that are still in circulation. So we would agree with that. Well, I, I thank you, Kenya. That would be great. But I, I would just say that for the moment, the most, uh, I think that the, the easiest solution, the solution which would give the MOBOs once again the moral kudos and the moral high ground would be to say that um, having reflected on the matter and having heard people's concerns, that you have decided that... Uh, Elephant Man and Vibes Cartel, the nomination will not be accepted. Um, and that, 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 that would give you a position of moral stature, that you had taken a stand against this music. That well, the moral high ground we have taken, we've said that if we don't get an apology from these particular, from these managers of these artists, then we would consider removing them from the nominations. That is what we have said. Yeah, but it can't be from the managers, can you? It's got to be from the singers themselves. I and, know. And, and, you know, the Beanie Man... You know, on the 20th, last Sunday, on the 22nd of August, at James Bond Beach, the big reggae festival in Jamaica, Beanie Man went on stage and said publicly to thousands of people, I have never apologised for inciting violence against gays. He then went on and performed several of his most violent, outrageously homophobic tracks. And is so he allowed shows, into this country? Yes. Is yes. he going to your so, awards? No, no, he's not. No, he's right, not. No, no, no. But, but why what, is he allowed in this country? Well, no, what I'm saying to Kenya is, we can't just take a statement. It's, well, got, it's, got, it's got to be the person giving a press conference, being filmed, or, or making a, a video that's released to the press for them to say it in their own words. Because Beanie Man has, has just said in Jamaica, I did not make that statement. That statement was put out by Virgin Records. It's nothing to do with me. I deny it completely. That's what he said. And it's been reported in the Jama I think Jamaican Observer right, and other papers. Can you? Oh, that, that's, that's probably why the nomination academy did nominate him this year. That may be one of the reasons. We can only speculate that. Don't you think if you organise awards, can you, that you should actually have a little more control? It's okay saying, well, you know, it's up to the people to, to nominate who they want. But quite frankly, uh, you've, you've got to have a little more control or, or there'll be some interested parties who'll get together and, and all kinds of stuff will get nominated that you may not want to be associated with. Because I'm sure you yourself, can you, don't want really to be associated with these sort of lyrics, do you? Lots of tracks I don't want to be associated or don't like. I don't like the music. Sometimes I think it's very bland, the tracks. Well, yeah, the let, let's, not, yeah, yeah, let's not worry about what the music's like, can you? It's what the lyrics are telling well, people both, to do. Both, but there's a lot that we don't like, but we don't advocate or endorse them. I mean, this, is, this debate about what is and isn't acceptable in art is one that dates back to time immemorial. 
and this includes... Uh, uh, can, can you? Come, come on, I'm trying to help you here. Listen, uh, they're, they're, we're talking about lyrics that blatantly in, in, incite people to go out and kill all gays, lesbians, and people who uh, go in for acts of uh, sexual gratification that they don't particularly like. I mean, this is vile and disgusting stuff. And you can't say, oh, well, it might be vile and disgusting to you, but it might not be to everybody, because I don't believe anybody who actually supports these lyrics should be walking around free. But what I'm saying is the, the tracks that you're talking about, they are not nominated. No, no, we, no, we understand that, can you? We move on. You know, but these, these people who have been nominated, uh, this is their thought process. They agree with this sort of stuff. You know, it's like saying if I invited the head of, um, I don't know, uh, the BMP, Nick Griffin, into the, the studio here, I know I'd have a huge, uh, and quite rightly, demonstration of people who didn't want me to interview him outside. Sure, but what we're saying is, obviously, we, you know, these artists are saying and moved on. Of course, we've been told that being in Nick Man's apology is insincere, or, or the way it's been done, it's been put out or released by his lawyer, and is unacceptable in terms of vouching that it's come from the actual artist's mouth, so to speak. Well, I think, I mean, there's an easy way to solve all this, isn't there, really? If the people involved um, make, a, make a statement themselves on video or whatever, and they say, look, we, we did this before, we were wrong, uh, you know, we shouldn't be doing this sort of stuff, it's wrong to go out and kill somebody because of their sexual orientation, then I don't think Peter or anybody else would have a problem. Sure, and if we can get that, that'll be fantastic. I mean, I'm sure they will have no problem in doing that. Well, we then then, then, it, then we can all end friends and, and be happy uh, because uh, you obviously won't invite them if they don't do it. Absolutely. I mean, we have had to overcome great prejudice in music to actually exist ourselves. So the last thing that we want to do is encourage prejudice against the minority. And any suggestions contrary to that are disingenuous and false. Well, I mean, it's great to hear you saying that, Kenya, but, you know, you know, we're... we're I think the solution we're proposing is a, an easy and credible one. You know, for the moment, these artists should be excluded. And I think it's, it, I think what's different about these artists is that they're explicitly inciting the killing of other human beings. That is qualitatively different from being homophobic or being misogynistic or whatever. Um, those things are wrong as well. But to, to, to go over the line and encourage you know, and say that gay people should be killed or anyone should be killed, I think it's, it would be morally right and you would win yourself great support, including from us in Outrage, if you said, we're not going to accept the nomination of any singer who encourages violence against other human beings. If that was your policy, I think you would find, you would, you would get our praise, you'd get everyone's praise, this issue would be dead in the water. But that's more or less what Kenya's saying. She's going to insist that there is a, an apology from these guys or they won't be allowed in. Well, as I say, I, I don't think an apology is sufficient while the songs are still in circulation. It's a bit like saying, well, you know, um, you know, if Hitler says he's sorry for writing Mein Kampf, you know, that would be acceptable, while Mein Kampf is still being you know, published and distributed all over the place. It's just, it's just okay. not on. <laughs> that their songs are in circulation all the time that the artist doesn't want to happen. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of dead artists who have our tracks in circulation, so it's not always down to the artists. We all know that. Yeah, but they've all, they've all got... They've either got rights themselves that they can revoke, they've got contractual things they can, they can invoke, or their current record companies and their past ones can come to some kind of deal, as, as record companies often do, that certain tracks will, be, will no longer be publicised and that the existing stock will be bought out. I mean, wh who was it? One of, the, one of the singers recently, I can't remember, but maybe Beyonce or someone, um, had some back catalogue you know, bought up by a record company because uh, they didn't want it to... It, it didn't fit the new image or whatever. It's a standard practice. Well, but the artists like Beyonce have made, obviously, millions of pounds from the albums they sold, so are in a financial position to do that. Most of these artists are not. They come from... Pol but they start in poverty and they go back to poverty. Well, if they have lyrics like this, Kanye, they should stay in poverty and none of us should hear who they are, I would have thought. Well, many of them do. I mean, the Good. society of which they come from, you know, I mean... Well, I don't think you should feel sorry for them. You seem to be tinged with a little sadness. Well, I no, mean, if they, if they want to write, if they want to write lyrics like, uh... Uh, no, I can't read that out on the air, actually, but, uh, some of the ones I've got in front of me here, and they think the least we hear of them, the better. Well, I totally agree with you with regards to those lyrics that you've talked about. I totally agree. I think they're equally as abhorrent as you do. Okay. Um, Kenya, we're running out of time. I think...